Sean Dank Garrett, who led a Roanoke Street gang that dealt drugs, recruited members from city high schools and carried out the killings of two young men, was sentenced Monday to 37 years in prison. This madness has to stop, U.S. District Judge Michael Urbanski said in imposing the sentence. It's just madness that young people felt like they could run around our streets and shoot each other. Garant, 31, was the undisputed leader of the Rollin 30s Crips. He learned about the Los Angeles-based gang from cellmates while serving prison time for an earlier murder, and organized a Rowan Oak chapter after his release about six years ago. The hurt and pain I caused is totally my fault, and I'm sorry for what I've done, Garant told the judge in Rowan Oak's federal court. Out of respect for them, he said of the family members of his two victims, I am not going to ask for their forgiveness, because I don't deserve it. In June 2017, 17-year-old Nicholas Lee was shot to death, just two weeks after graduating from Patrick Henry High School, as part of a falling out with the Rollin 30s. The following year, 23-year-old Markle Gertie was shot and killed after a dispute broke out about the marijuana he was carrying near the Lansdowne Park public housing complex where the gang's drug operation was headquartered in a trap house. Garant was not present for either killing, but prosecutors said he directed them as the leader of the gang. In a proceeding that started at 9 a.m. and stretched past 6 p.m., Urbanski also sentenced two co-defendants, fellow gang members DeMonte Murdomack and Travon 30 Casey, who admitted they killed at Garant's command. The judge sentenced Mack to 40 years, citing his role as the actual killer of Lee. For Casey, he settled on 36 years, which he said was based in part on his younger age, Casey is 23, Mac is 34, and his early cooperation with authorities. Lee's death brought attention to the Rollin 30s, which unlike previous gangs in Rowan Oak had a high level of organization that included initiation rites, a set of rules that included the wearing of blue colors to show loyalty and an intensive recruiting effort aimed at vulnerable young men in the city's two high schools. The murder was part of a complicated series of events. It began when Garand ordered a gang member identified only as D.F. in court records to kill Lee because he was reaching out to the rival Bloods. 